So I need to search for a particular element in the given array. So beginning is always should be no less than or equal to end. Okay. The initial index of the array is what I will call it as a lower bound, and the last index of the array is what I will call it as an upper bound. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to yet another interesting session. Today I will be discussing a concept called binary search. So guys, it's going to be very, very interesting and I will finish it very quickly because it's going to be very, very easy. If it is not easy, I am here for all of you to make it easy. Alright, so guys, the topic is all about binary search. How exactly binary search is happening? Let's understand that. So guys, before I start all this content to all of you, I'd like to give you a recap for linear search. Okay, so before that, let me just show you. So imagine this is how the binary search happens. And let me tell you before this, imagine I have the elements like this. Okay, so 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So this is what I have. So I need to search for a particular element in the given array. Okay, that is what I will call it as a searching. So how do I search? So guys, when it comes to a search, I will be searching one by one. Sequentially, I will be comparing my elements. Say for example, I need to search for 50. So I will be comparing this element with each and every element that I have. So what is the problem that I will have? What is the problem that I will come across? So my dear students, what happens when it comes to the linear searches? Sequentially, one after the other, I will be comparing. Suppose my search element is at the end of the array so I have to search till the end of the array so it will take a lot of comparisons and a lot of time and the complexity will be too high so guys to solve this problem I have the next method of searching that's going to be binary search how exactly binary search is going to become advantageous you know when it comes to the concept of linear search so let's understand it's time for all of us to understand the concept of binary search now so guys, imagine this is the given array. So in this array, so what I have here, the first thing that I have to remember is the elements what I have here, it should be in sorted order. First of all, when I have uh, elements, I cannot take the elements in a mixed order. It has to be in sorted order from the increasing to decreasing in this example. That's what you need to remember. Suppose if I don't have the element in the sorted order, I will not be able to perform the binary search is what you need to remember. So fine, imagine I have the elements and it is in the sorted order. So fine, what is the first thing that I have to do whenever I want to start binary search? I need to understand the lower bound and upper bound of the given array. What is the meaning of lower bound and upper bound? So guys, the initial index of the array is what I will call it as a lower bound and the last index of the array is what I will call it as an upper bound. So fine. So first thing you have to check. What is that you have to check? It should be in sorted order. So did you check that? Yes, we have checked it. It's in the sorted order. The second thing that you need to check for lower bound and upper bound. So what is the lower bound? So this zero is what I will call it as a lower bound and six is what I will call it as an upper bound. All right, so we have that. The next thing that you need to do is you need to calculate the mid value. So how do I calculate the mid value? Lower bound plus upper bound divided by two. Is This is how I will be calculating the mid value. So guys, obviously for this, what is the mid value? Zero plus six divided by two will give me the three as a mid value, correct? So guys, this is how this is the mid value. So fine, I got the mid value also. What is mid? Mid is equal to, all right, three. That's how I got the mid value. All right, so fine. Uh, what is that I have to do now? So you got the mid value. So guys, I marked it in the yellow color. So what is this yellow color? This is the mid value. Now, what is that I have to do? How exactly binary search will happen after calculating the mid value is what you need to remember. Guys, I will compare this mid value, whatever I have. What is that I have mid value 35? What is the value that you wanted to search? So I wanted to search for 50. Okay, I want to search for 50. Observe, this is how I calculate the mid value and I want to search for 50. So now 35 is the value that you have. So you will start comparing with the value that you are trying to search. What is the value which I'm trying to search 50? So now, so 50, okay, 35 is lesser than 50, correct? Yes or no? 
35 is lesser than 50. So now in this case, you all know that I have a sorted array. Okay, so obviously, so you are trying to search 50. So 35 is less than 50. Obviously, I know that the elements, what I want is not in this part. Because I got to know that the key value which I am searching is greater than the mid value, correct? So that's the reason I don't have to search this part at all because I got to know, correct? How did you got to know? Because I know my array is sorted array. When I got the mid value as 35, obviously the elements what I have here in this side, it should be less than 35. And I got to know in the comparison, so 35 is less than what I am searching. So obviously my value, what I am, what I am trying to search is greater than 35, correct? So it should be in the right part of my array. So now what I will do, what I will do again, I will calculate the mid value. Again, I will calculate the mid value. That is what you need to remember. Sir, how did you calculate the mid value now? How did you calculate the mid value? So guys, this upper bound, I will leave it as it is, but I will reinitialize the lower bound. I will reinitialize the lower bound. How did you reinitialize, sir? What you have here, okay? So this value, what I have mid plus one, I will reinitialize in this case, Observe here, lower bound is equal to mid plus 1. Okay, lower bound is equal to mid plus 1. Upper bound, I will leave it as it is. So now, my array will start from here. So this, I forgot. Okay, what I will do, mid plus 1. What I have mid was here, mid plus 1 is this one. This, I will make it as lower bound. What is the meaning of lower bound? Initial, from where the array starts. So now, again, I have to calculate the mid value because you have lower bound and upper bound separate values. So how do you calculate the mid value? Observe here. So initially four, that is the lower bound. Six is the upper bound. Six plus four divided by two. So 10 divided by two is five. What is the mid value? Five. I will make this as mid value. Now, again, I will start comparing with the value which I wanted to search. So what is that? 50 is less than 65. So 50 is less than 65. So guys, observe here carefully. Is 50 less than 65? Yes, it is true. So guys, 50 is less than 65, correct? So now what should I do now? What should I do now? Now again, I will calculate the mid value here, observe, okay? So I have calculated the mid value and the mid value is 65, you all know that. And I will compare the value, whatever I have got, with the value what I wanted to search. That is 50 is what I'm searching and I've got 65. You will compare. So 65 is greater than 50, correct? Yes. Then my value, whatever I'm searching, so that is less than 65. So what I will do, so guys, I will not check this part at all. Again, I will calculate the mid value. So how do I calculate the mid value? So this itself, this itself is a lower bond and this itself is upper bond. I've obviously, I will get this position itself. And then finally, 50, I got the mid value. So 50 is equal to, is equal to the element which you are searching. Is it matching? Yes, it is matching. Element form? Yes, element form. Otherwise, if the element is not matching, then you will say that element not found. This is how we search. What is that you need to understand? So guys, I did not compare my element with these elements and I did not compare my elements with these elements. These number of comparisons are avoided when it comes to the binary search. But if I was using the linear search, I would have compared with all elements. But when it comes to binary search, I will divide the array into two, divide two equal parts and I will start comparing the elements with the middle element that is mid value. This is how I will be performing the binary search. So I will have a algorithm. Let me just explain this quickly. So same thing I have. So initially, so they have taken the different terms here. So instead of uh, upper bound, uh, lower bound, they have taken it as a B beginning. All right. So end, they have taken it as n minus one since we are using it array. So since it is starting from zero, so they are taking it as n minus one. They are calculating the mid value beginning plus n divided by two. You all know that. And there is a comparison, okay, which is happening. So beginning is always should be you no know, less than or equal to end. Okay. So within this, the comparison should happen. All right. So fine. 
So again, uh, they are comparing here. So observe here, if a mid value is equal to is equal to key, if it is matching, so they will store that in the location. Okay, in this variable, they are trying to store the mid value, whatever they have. So, and then what is the next condition that they are checking? Observe here, if key is less than mid, if key is less than mid, so what is that condition? So observe here. So this is key, okay? This key, whatever I'm trying to check, okay? Uh, imagine 50 is a key. Imagine 50 is a key and this is a mid, okay? What is the condition that you have here? A of mid, A of mid in the sense what? This is A of mid, okay? Okay, A of mid in the sense this value, okay? So A of mid in the sense this value and now observe here, I have key. A of mid is 35, 35 is less than 50, okay? 35 is less than 50, 50 is less than 35. Observe here, I, I, I should always check like this, 50 is less than 35. Is it true? No, it is not true. So it is very simple. What is that they are trying to say here? Guys, whenever I have this value, my searching value is less than this value. What I will be doing is I will make this that is my mid minus one. Okay, mid minus one as upper bound that is end. I will make this as upper bound. So I will not check this. That is what they are trying to explain here. Okay, end is equal to mid minus one. So when the searching value is less than this mid value, I will make this value as mid minus one upper bound. You don't have to search here at all because my element lies in this part. That is what they are trying to say. One more option is there. So guys, what is that beginning is mid plus one. In which case, in this example, what we did is beginning plus one. Say for example, I will compare my mid value with the searching element. So my searching element is greater than this mid value. So in that case, I will make this as mid plus one. So which one you will make it as a mid plus one? Upper bound, is it? No, lower bound you will make it as mid plus one. From here the array starts. So lower bound will become mid plus one. So here upper bound itself will become mid minus one. That is the major important thing that you need to remember. So this is how we write the algorithm. So it will keep on searching if the element found will print element found. Otherwise you will say element not found. This is how we search or we perform the binary search. So with this, I am completing this session, how exactly we perform the binary search. So take care, bye bye. In the next session, wait for me for a different kind of sorting. Take care, bye bye.